All right, what's going on, guys? So in today's board video, is actually a really special start. Um, we're actually fighting MMXIV and my friend Clobber in time. Actually, he's gonna be taking the champion boss. We're gonna watch this first. It's actually my first time watching this fight. Let's go ahead and uh, wow, uh, check this out. I'm sorry, it, I couldn't get it quite the full screen. I think maybe he recorded this on an iPad. Not sure. Um, but yeah, so basically the strategy here, he's bringing in magic against this guy. So he's going to try to get to an L3, uh, nullify all the buffs, do a bunch of damage, and just keep cycling those L3s. So that's going to be the plan here. Let's see how that goes. Uh, he healed some nice damage from Limbo there. When you're, Ooh, just nice indestructible boost. That's good. Um, that Limbo is so nice, man. I love that Limbo on magic. The really good thing about uh, this fight as well is um, the boss note has the... Uh, energy resistance and physical resistance and magic can actually nullify those as well so boom 1l3 that did quite a bit of damage and that's just the first one and now look at his power he's almost back at another l3 so basically now all he has to do is uh bait out a special and wait for the next buffs to trigger and then he's going to be able to drop another l3 um boom they trigger drops his l3 um I'm, it looks like he had a bunch of power though hmm let's see how much power he has now okay you didn't even get that much power. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. And again, boom, he's already at like an L2 now. So I uh, just got to get back up to that L3. And as you can see, the champion's already at 50%. And he still has a minute and 38 left. He's doing really good so far. Doing really good so far. Um, and of course, Magic, she has the female boost. Cause she's a female champ from the War Season nodes. That's definitely helping the damage out a bit as well. If you guys don't know how Magic works, basically... Um, on the L3, she nullifies buffs, and for every buff she nullifies, she does direct damage. So, boom, that was a 37,000 L3. Pretty nice damage there. Um, pretty nice. And boom, those medium crits are hitting for like 5k. Dang, that's some great damage. Uh, oh, yeah, boom, gets that L3 off. Nice. Nice. Alright, a minute left, and he's down to 44% health. This is a uh, rank 4, the champion. Uh, not quite a rank 5. Thank god. Um... I don't know, this, I don't know, man, this guy at rank 5, he's going to be crazy. Alright, looks like he triggered another Primal Fury, uh, boom, another L3, looking good, clobbering. Just over 30 seconds left, and uh, another L3, boom, it takes him down to 17%, looking good, looking good. Looks like one more L3 ought to do it. Uh, he just has to get back up there before he triggers those buffs, and he'll be good. Ooh, looks like he's actually going for the L2s to finish it off, okay, okay. I respect that. Uh, there we go. The unstoppable goes away. Drop another L2 here. Some pretty good damage. Steal some power. 6%. Ooh, this is actually kind of close. Ooh, took some hits there. But hey, that gave him power. 8 seconds left. Ooh, he's going to get some energy. Ooh. Oh, he's going to... Oh, he waited for the buffs to trigger on the timeout. Oh, this L3 should do it. Oh, that was sick, actually. That was sick. Nice, Clobberin. Great kill, man. Great boss kill. So guys, huge shout out to Clobber in Time for sending me the, over this footage. Um, he's actually affiliated with Concierge. If you guys don't already follow Concierge on the Line app, they send out notifications and stuff like that. Um, basically, uh, like when Kabam puts out a new announcement or post, like they'll put it in right away. They have a whole bunch of helpful tools. So yeah, the link for the Concierge will be in the description. You guys should definitely go check them out online. Now let's get into My War Path against MMX here. Alright guys, we're hopping over to my path now in this alliance war, and um, I'm only going to be doing the first two fights, and then basically I'm going to move to node 22 and wait until the next day to do the rest. So, first two fights, we've got two skill champs going up against MMX IV. Who knows what these could be, man? They could be Korgs. Um, we're pretty sure the first one here is Punisher, um, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Stark Spidey, and... Um, it is Punisher, so I'm like, okay, build up a couple of poise. Now against Punisher and uh, champs with his heavy, like Colossus, War Machine, Iron Man, those heavies, man, they throw them quick. So when I build poise against those champs, I'm just trying to be ready for those heavies. Um, but actually, I make a really big uh, mistake here. And uh, basically, I go ahead, I'm doing a crap ton of damage. Like, okay, let me drop my L1, it'll stun him, I'll go in for the kill. He endures it, I'm like, oh crap okay let me just hold block oh no he threw his l2 unblockable i just went for the evade man i just went for it um i evaded i'd say 30 percent i'd say spidey probably evaded 70 percent so uh yeah you know that's how we work as a team man we've got to evade those specials together um 
kind of sketchy, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, and now I actually have another skill champion, and uh, this one actually is a Gwynpool. So nice and easy, diversity-esque fight here, not to worry. So uh, yeah, if I die to a Gwynpool, that would be horrible. First death of the season to a Gwynpool, man. Wow, that would be embarrassing. Um, so yeah, I built a couple of poise charges, started doing some damage, no need to worry really. Her L1, uh, really easy, and you get at least one poise charge from it. Um, sometimes you can get two, I, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, go ahead and drop the L1 here. Nope, nope, I don't drop the L1. I think, yeah, 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 I drop it here. I didn't kill her. Luckily, I didn't look away. I was like, this L1's not gonna kill her. Let me uh, make sure I go in after. That'd be funny if you died. Like, you used your special, you thought the fight was over, and you just looked away, and then she <laughs> killed you. So, next morning now, and it's time to boost up big. So, this is actually an Electro on All or Nothing. And, uh, you know, my original plan was like, okay, I'll bring in Blade. I'll just parry him to death. Like, pff, it's just an Electro. I don't need to bring Ghost Rider for the synergy. Um, yeah, like I was talking with Hector and Clobber in time about when we were doing paths. I'm like, yeah, I'll just bring Blade for this Electro and I'll parry him. Hector's like, you can't. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, bleed immune. I'm like, oh, right. The global bleed immunity for this season. Oh, crap. <laughs> so basically the plan is I put on those skill boosts. Um, and I'm also going to put on a, an invulnerability boost. I also maxed Limber in my masteries so that uh, Electro, his L3, has a 90% chance to stun for 4.5 seconds. So basically my plan here is to get to an L2, drop an L2. If it doesn't kill him, take an L3. When I use my L2, I'll get a bunch of power back. I'll eat his L3. I'll be indestructible from the boost. And uh, I'll shrug off the stun really quick with Limber and a lot of power from Blade's debuff shrug off ability. Uh, and I get in this fight. And I'm just doing a crap ton of damage. Boom, he's already down to 35% within the first 10 hits. I, I was trying to bait a special here. I'm like, idiot, it's all or nothing. Uh, he's not going to throw the L1. And <laughs> so I go back in here. Um, just going to wait till I get to an L2. Drop this bad boy. And uh, pff, I didn't have to worry, man. I didn't have to worry. But um, I had the invulnerability boost in the overflow. Uh, I was in the store a couple days ago. I bought two, and I had to put one in the overflow to buy two. Um... So it's all good, um, and it's gonna come in handy against this wasp. Just just in case, you know, if wasp hits you, she hits hard, highest base attack in the game. So uh, yeah, gotta be careful. It's a mini boss node. This is the debuff immune and dismay. Um, I could have brought in blade here. I still have the skill boost, but eh, I prefer shark spidey for this. Um, <clears throat> I have the blade synergy, so I get some. I start with three poise charges, which is just super nice, man. I love starting with poise charges. Um, go ahead, bait the heavy here, nice and easy. Um, pretty good at baiting it for the most part. Um, but actually, I slip up. I think it's right here. Nope, not yet. Uh, right, she threw the L1. She kind of dexed out of it too. I think it's right here at where is where I mess up. Um, I was. She threw her her heavy. And I just I didn't react quick enough. Yeah, right here. Boom, I ate it. Two instructable hits. Uh, so that boost definitely did come in handy. I have Dismay on me. It's only taken for 60, so I'm not really too worried. Go ahead and drop the L2 here, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to kill her. Boom, 16k, 17k. Don't even need the third hit to crit. And uh, the Wasp mini boss goes down. So feeling good. Now the next fight is a Korg. So my Alliance mate goes ahead and uh, takes it with his Quake. Uh, shout out to Crimson. If you guys want to see, uh, he actually sent me a bunch of his Quake fights. One is against a Korg. There's some other cool ones. If you guys want to see those, let me know. It's probably going to be coming up soon. Um, the guy is a beast with a Quake. One of the best Quake players I've ever seen. Go ahead and use two 250 potions here on Blade just to get him up. Um, so basically, this is kind of sketchy, guys. This next fight here, it's a Bleed node. And... Um, Go out of the game and into the game real quick to make that message go away. Uh, it's a bleed node. I'm going in with blade. And some of my boosts actually wore off. So go ahead and pop another attack one. Um, I still have the uh, skill ones though. So I'm not worried. I pop on the regen boost in case I'm taking heavy bleed damage. Um, I, we saw a guy when we were fighting for Loki do this. He almost died. But he didn't even have danger sense against the void. I think it was a rank 5 void. This void's only rank 4. So I'm like blade can do it. And... I didn't get the bleed, so it was awesome, man. Uh, but I do take a two-hit combo at the start of the fight there. Scrap mistake, but uh, I got the regen boost on, so ah, I'm just chilling. Um, and 
And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to make sure I shrug off the debuffs at the 10 hit multiplier. Um, not multiplier, but like the increments of 10. Um, I'm about to try to time so I shrug off the debuffs. So basically guys, once I get to an L2 here, this fight's gonna get fun. It's gonna get really fun. Uh, he put a debuff on me here, and he would not throw his heavy. He just would not throw it. It's a stun immune node, um, and he just would not throw his heavy. Uh, I don't know why. He, here he finally throws it, so I drop my L2, and look at my power. Boom, almost at another L2. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a blocked hit, beta heavy, drop another L2, and look, another L2. Uh, he comes at me. Drop another L2, and he's dead. So those skill boosts are just... Oh, those 200% um, class boosts are just insane on some champs. Um, that was crazy. So I'm really happy with how that fight went. Um, and then, yeah, I was on my way to get a haircut. And they're like, yo, can you take this cable down? I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. Um, I actually, yeah, so I hop in here with Spidey. Go to take this cable down. Um, and I, I'm, I'm in the car. Uh, I, was, I wasn't driving. Um, but I'm in the car and I'm just playing. And, uh, I'm just trying, <laughs> I don't know, it, like, normally I like to play in my bed, that's where I play best, uh, like, sitting cross-legged, and just, that's just where I'm in my zone, you know, um, I play second best probably in my desk here, but I prefer in bed, you know, uh, so in the car, it's kind of weird, so I'm just trying to play really safe, uh, just bait the specials when I can, you know, there's, this is actually a limber note as well, so I use up a bunch of my parries, um, so yeah, she's pretty much baiting the L1 now. He's getting power flood stuff. I'm getting a little worried, just uh, trying to keep baiting it out. Um, keeps throwing him. Uh, he also has unfazed. I hate unfazed, so annoying. Um, but yeah, I got I think that was my last parry. Now I'm gonna have to start punishing the L1 or just beta heavy. Well, I got managed to get one more in there. That was close though. Uh, I think I punished this L1. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then drop my L1, and he doesn't die. Got to bait an L2 now. He's getting a lot of power floods. Um, and uh, yeah, I think I just bait a heavy now. I think. Went for an intercept, but he backed off. So yeah, bait a heavy, and there we go. Down goes Cable. So that's going to do it for my path for this war, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that champion boss kill from Clobber in Time. That was so dope. Again, thank you to Clobber in Time for sending that over. His concierge, The concierge link will be down in the description below. And unfortunately, guys, we did end up losing to MMX. So good war to you guys. Um, we'll get you next time. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this Alliance War video. I really do appreciate it. Peace out. Take care.